I'm Bernice Abubedu and this is Joe News Today. Let's do some politics now. Former General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Titus Bayou, says one major challenge facing the people of Lambusi is the lack of leadership in the area. He noted the constituency has constantly lagged behind, resulting in underdevelopment. Dr. Bayo said given the opportunity to be their legislator, the narrative will change and he'll be the lead advocate for development in the area. He made the remarks after his virgin, paving the way for him to contest two other persons in the NDC's parliamentary primaries slated for next month. The former General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Titus Bayo, first debunked the assertion that he's new in the NDC. So for anybody doubting my credentials within the party, they should visit Lambuse and find out who brought the first set of doctors to operate in Lambuse, who started the renovation of the party office years ago, who um, get, took new passport pictures for everybody when the party decided to introduce passport pictures in our register. They should find out from Lambuse who paid for the filing fee for all our branch executives, and they will realize that I am not new in the party at all. Dr. Biu said one major challenge faced by the Lambuse constituency is the lack of quality leadership, which he hopes to bring to bear if given the nod. He added that he is going to be the lead advocate for the development of the area and spare its development. We have had leaders who have tried their due, but we need a contemporary leader, a transgenerational leader, one with a vision, one who carries a certain charisma to carry the people along, and one who can act as an advocate for the people of Lambuse. Lambuse has lacked a lot of advocacy. If you come into the Lambuse constituency, nationally, people do not know a lot about us. People do not know the kind of people who are even in Lambuse. People ask me, what are the tribes in Lambuse? Lambuse, we have Sisala, we have Dagari, we have Mochi people, we have Wala people. It's a mix of people in Lambuse. But no one knows all this about us. So lacking in Lambuse is advocacy. And then the type of leadership that will project the image of the place to attract the needed development. To achieve that, he has to first beat former member of parliament for the constituency, Edward Kai Waladere, who has also filed to contest the primaries. There's nobody in Lambuse constituency who cannot, or who probably will say, Eddie, for this Eddie, have not done anything. We have 77 polling stations and communities. I can bet you, go to every, concept, every community, you will see a project there. For the eight years, I have drilled and installed existing boreholes, 132. Edward Derry is largely blamed for the party ceding the parliamentary seat to the MPP, a blame he has also denied. If you talk about human relations, I, I will not disagree with you. It depends on how you look at me or probably how you want to associate with me. And you know, for MPs or public servants, you know, they are very petty issues people can take against you. I have learned a lesson and I'm going to do it better and more united with my people than before. All those who campaign against me, today we are working together and I can assure you I will do it better. The third person in the parliamentary primary and whose picture will appear number two on the battle paper is research scientist Dr. Emmanuel Kambampanyang. I say, look, our seat has gone back. It has gone to NPP. My priority will be for us to get the seat back. That's number one. Irrespective of who wins the primaries, what I mean, Dr. Biu or Honorable uh, uh, Edward, my priority will be for us to unite and get the seat back from NPP. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik Salam. Wa.